Today I'm going to turn this t-shirt into this dress. I've been seeing t-shirt dresses like this on Instagram. This one is by Lifer Shop. I know there's others out there too. It's kind of similar to the Psychic Outlaw like bandana dress in that it's just a bunch of panels put together and it makes a cute flowy baby doll dress. I'm just going to be working today with this t-shirt which was an oversized tee that just was weird and boxy and didn't fit me right. I tried to crop it. It didn't work out. I'm going to use this as the uh, skirt material. This is a duvet cover that I've been hoarding for a while and this is great because it's a grid pattern so I can just use the lines of the grid to cut my straight lines for the skirt. All you need to do is cut a big rectangle or two big rectangles and then we will be gathering them and just kind of you know turning it into a baby doll dress like this one. It's helpful if you already have a baby doll dress or just like a full dress that you like the style of so that you can measure it. I am going to do this in two panels instead of one because I want to have side seams so that I'm able to add pockets. I'm thinking this is going to be a really quick project, hopefully less than an hour, but I'll keep you posted. So let's get started. Like I said, the first thing I'm going to do is just lay out this dress that I already have and take my tape measure and just measure from seam to seam across one side. This looks like about 40 inches across. Let's up it a little bit. Let's take it to 45. Let's check the length here. 45 by 19. So we'll do 45 by 20 so that I have a seam allowance. So I have all the fabric laid out on the floor and I'm going to measure 45 across by 20 long and cut two of those. Actually, I'm going to do 20 this way and then 45 that way because that makes more sense. This looks really short. I'm gonna go check this against my body because it looks weirdly short. I think it's fine. I think I'm just short. Let's do another one. All right, I've moved back to the table so you can see what I'm doing a little bit better. I'm just going to cut four of this pocket pattern, which I found a template for online and I will link down below. This fabric is basically reversible, so it doesn't really matter, but you're supposed to cut one pocket this way and then one this way. So two of each of those. I'm gonna do my best to explain pockets right now. So we are looking at two right sides of the dress. These will be seamed together here. These two will go together and make a side seam. So to do the pocket, we we'll want to take our pocket bag that we have the pieces cut out for. We want to do right sides together on each side of the panel. It looks like lungs kind of. So you want to line them up together. Again, this grid is great because I can just line things up with it. So I'm going to line up the top of the pocket bag with the bottom of the first square and pin that in place and do the same thing with the other side. And then we are going to stitch each of these onto their respective panels. So just do a quick stitch down each side and then we'll come back to it. So I've just quickly pressed the seam this way towards the pocket and we are going to, this is the right side. We're going to take the other side and do right sides together on top of it and line those up and the pocket bag should line up perfectly because we aligned it with the grid but obviously you can just if you're not working with a grid fabric you can just measure and then 
pull it over and do the same thing on the other side. Make sure you line up the seams and pin all the way down. Well, then you will stitch down from the top around the pocket bag and all the way down the rest of the seam and you will have a side seam with a pocket. Okay, I've finished sewing the pocket bags on. So now we have this big circle of fabric and on either side we have the pocket bag and we're just going to flip this inside out and press it. I did end up finishing the edges of the seam just with a zigzag stitch. So I went all the way around this and all the way around the outside of the pocket bag and all the way down. So I'm going to turn this inside out. Well, really right side out like so. And magically, now we have a pocket on either side. So it just looks like this now, just a big loop of fabric, and we're going to do a basting stitch. As I was saying, I've done a basting stitch. I did it all the way around, but then I split it at the side seams, so I have less to gather at once. So with the basting stitch, it's just a really wide stitch. You can also do this by hand. Sometimes that's easier, but you just want to grab the top piece of thread and start pulling. You'll begin to get this gathered effect. Now we have to make it fit within this width. So I have my shirt right side out and I'm going to turn the skirt part inside out and I'm first going to just pin the sides to each side of the shirt so that I know that I can gather it kind of even, evenly across the front and the back and I'm going to pin it like this where the skirt kind of encases the shirt. This is kind of confusing. Okay so we have the shirt sitting inside of the skirt like this so right sides together and like I said I'm going to work on gathering up these basting stitches to make it so that the size matches the size of the skirt. All right we have it all lined up as you can see it's gathered evenly across the bottom of the shirt. This is the inside of the shirt and the inside of the skirt so they're right sides together and I'm going to just stitch all the way around very carefully making sure that the gathers stay nicely even as I go. Definitely take your time when you do this part and I'm also going to do a zigzag to finish it off. Two and a half hours later I did it! <laughs> so now I'm just going to try it on and determine how long I want the hem to be and then I will press the hem and I'm going to sew it by hand. So I'll show you how I do that. I'm going to again use my grid lines here, fold it up to that line and press with the iron. And then I will fold it up again. So I'm just going to press and pin this all the way around and then I will be stitching the hem by hand. We have the hem folded and pinned and I'm going to show you how I do a hem on a skirt or a dress or whatever, just like a blind hem. I like to start at the side seam and just using a needle with a knot tied at the end of a thread and go about a half an inch with your needle. Go under the base layer and then through the fold so that you're catching both layers of fabric. Bring your thread, wrap it around the needle, and pull it through. And then you're just going to continue doing that all the way. I use my ring finger to brace behind the fabric. Wrap around, pull, and this creates like a little knot I'm going to do a dedicated video on this because I think learning how to shorten a hemline is very helpful. All right, it's the next day. The dress is complete. I'll show you what it looks like in a full body shot right here. I'm really happy with it. I think that it kind of looks like something that H&M would sell with like 
the fake band as the t-shirt and the skirt that contrasts but it also kind of reminds me of like the street style fashion that I was into in 2011 like Korean street style like this cute I don't know this looks like very yes style to me if you know the vibes it's so comfortable I think there's a brand that has a dress called the nap dress this is my nap dress especially because it's made with what used to be a comforter cover. I think it was overall pretty easy to make. It took me about three hours, but I was filming it. So if you aren't filming it, it'll probably take less time. But I think this is a great project to upcycle a t-shirt that is maybe damaged or you cropped it poorly. Like even if this were cropped way too short, I think it would be super cute to add a skirt to. This is definitely a DIY I recommend you try out. I feel like it's maybe more accessible, more customizable than some of the other things I've done. So let me know if you do try it. Tag me on Instagram at dietblonde and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.